Sir Isaac Newton once said, if I have seen further, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. As researchers, we are part of a collaborative ecosystem, building off what is known to make new discoveries. Often this involves assuming that others' work has been properly peer-reviewed. I'm sure we've all taken for granted some opaque statement for the sake of undertaking a new project. But there's an uneasiness that follows from solving a problem based upon a murky foundation. On the shoulders of giants, we may see further, but do we see more clearly? Over the summer, I faced this dilemma. I was participating in an internship, doing math research and image processing. I was studying a model of how, of how images become blurred, with the goal being to remove the blur. It can be pretty annoying when your pictures come out blurry, but the stakes are far higher when one is deblurring for national security purposes, hoping to locate and identify unknown sensitive materials. The problem was that my model involved the function arc cosine. You might remember so Katoa from trigonometry. <laughs> Well, the cause cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, and arc cosine is its inverse. Trigonometry, inverse, a little complicated? Well, I thought so. So to simplify my model, I hoped that I could replace arc cosine by a simpler function. I wasn't sure how to do this, though, so I did what I normally do when I get stuck. I went to Wolfram Alpha. And Wolfram Alpha told me that arc cosine was approximately this function with square roots on the right. I compared their graphs, and it seemed to be right. The issue was that Wolfram Alpha's justification was Poisson series, a math phrase I'd never heard of. So I went to Wikipedia, which said that Poisson series are a topic of algebraic geometry, an advanced field of math I had no experience in. And that's how it's led to this fundamental question of research mathematics. Can I trust, in general, what's said to be true by more advanced mathematics? If any of you have ever participated in a human pyramid, lower people supporting higher ones, you know that they quickly fall apart if just one person is unstable. And the same can be said of research. So I decided that rather than trusting Wolfram Alpha or reading through several books on algebraic geometry, I tried to prove the approximation for arc cosine myself using math that I know. And math that I know includes calculus one because I've TA'd it twice. At the top, we have two graphs, arc cosine of t over root one minus t and its derivative. The first graph looks like it gets close to root two, about 1.4 as you move to the right. And I showed this using L'Hopital's rule. And then I did the same for its derivative this time showing it goes to minus 1 over 6 root 2, about minus 0.12. I finally applied the mean value theorem to obtain my approximation. L'Hopital's rule and the mean value theorem, both tools from calculus 1. So I was able to bypass using Poisson series, algebraic geometry, math that I would have had to take for granted. This approximation simplified my model, and I was able to solve my problem by the end of the internship. I could have made assumptions and done my research faster, but it just wouldn't have been right to solve a problem about deblurring using unclear methods. Thank you.